Hi everyone! Over 70% of online users claim it is essential to recognize a brand before buying online. For that, we have Yeet WooCommerce Brands add-on. With this plugin, you can create unlimited brands to assign to your products to build reliability and guarantee the quality of the products you sell. Before we get into it, let me remind you we'll list the links to the plugin, documentation, and live demo in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. And now, let's get to it. Do you want to highlight the brands of the products you sell? You can use Yeet WooCommerce Brands add-on to create and assign brands to your products. This will generate reliability and guarantee the quality of your products. Here you can see we have popular brands in the shop. We have Adidas, Hermes, Zara, Prada, and more. You can showcase the brands of your products so that customers trust the quality of your products. Now let's go to the dashboard to check out the plugin settings. Let's go to Yid, Brands Add-on. Here we're going to find three tabs. We have General Options, Brands, and Import. In the first tab, as you might have guessed, we can configure the general settings. In the second tab, we can create and set up each brand. And in the third tab, we can import brands from a CSV file. Let's see the general options. First, you can choose the product brand taxonomy. By selecting the taxonomy, you'll be selecting the terms that will be used as brands. We have default brand taxonomy, product categories, product tags, and here we have three attributes I have created on this side, color, materials, and size. Then we have the brand slug, which is product brands, this is the slug that should be used when generating the URL. And here's the brand label we have brand right now. Let's go to the side to see this. You see here I have brand before the name of the brand. This is the label. And if I click here, I'm directed to the brand page where I have all the products that have this brand. And if we check out the link to this page, you can see here we have the slug product brands. Back to the dashboard. Before moving on, let me remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's continue with the video. Okay, so then we have the option to show the brand on the product detail page. If this is enabled, we can select the position, which can be before or after the product title, after the product price, the product excerpt, the add to cart, product meta, or product share. And then we have the option to select what to show on the product detail page. We have both name and logo. You can also choose to just show the logo or just show the name. Let's go see that. Let's say I choose this product. Here we have the brand name with the brand label and the logo. Back. Then you can choose the size of the brand images on the product detail page in pixels. And you can also choose to show the brand on the shop page, the position after product price or after the add to cart button, what to show on the shop page as well, both name and logo, just logo, just name, the size of the brand images. You also have an option here to set a default image for brands that do not have a logo and you can upload the logo here. You can also enable the sort by brand option on the shop page. You can also choose to show the brand name on brand pages and also the brand logo on brand pages. Now let's move on to the brands tab. Here's where you can create the brands. You can see we have all these brands created. Let's create a new one right now. First you need to enter the name. I'm going to create the brand Puma. Then you can enter a slug. You can choose a parent brand. I'm not going to choose any brand here. You can enter a description here. I'm just going to enter a random text. You can upload a thumbnail here. This is the image that we're going to see if we enable the logo on the shop and on product detail pages. I have my thumbnail right here. Use image. And then you can also choose a banner. This would be used for the brand page. I have my banner right here. Use image. And then you can enter a custom URL to redirect users. Now I'm going to click on add new brand. And there we have the new brand which is created. We have the image, which is the thumbnail, the name, 
the description, the Slack, and the account. Here you're going to see how many products have this brand. Here we can view the brand page. It is right here. We have the name, the banner, and the description. We don't have any products with this brand yet. Back. Here you can edit the brand and delete it. And here you can drag the brands like this to change their position. Then you also have bulk actions in case you want to delete several brands or export them into a CSV file. And you can also search brands here. Okay, so now that we have created this new brand, how can we assign it to a product in the shop? Let's go to products and I'm going to edit one of these products that do not have a brand yet. We're going to scroll down and right here to the right, we have a new brands section. Here we have all the brands created and you can create more brands by just clicking here on add new brand. But I have Puma here, so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to update this product. Now let's go to the product page and there we go. Here's the brand name and the brand logo. And if I click on the brand name or the logo, we're going to be directed to the Puma brand page. And if I scroll down, I have the product right here. Now let's go back to the plugin panel and we have the last tab, import. Here we're going to find an option to upload a CSV file so you can import brands here to assign to your products. And that's it. That's how easy it is to configure and use this plugin. Okay, so that's how the plugin works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for the next video.